come back to Spirit of the Outdoors. Come down here this morning to the swamp, do a little squirrel hunting. Oh. Brought my coffee. I'm gonna sit down here a minute. Today I brought my old Stevens single shot. This is probably my favorite squirrel gun. Oh. Aside from the flintlock, I shot it yesterday, dead on at 50 yards, first shot. So we're gonna shoot it a little bit one day, and then we're gonna do a flintlock squirrel hunt pretty quick. But I like to open the season up with my shotgun. That's just kind of put some meat on the table, guarantee I can kill a few squirrels. Now, I don't like to just kill a whole pile. I like to kill about what I'm gonna eat, and that's it. Uh, so I need to kill enough that me and my daddy can have a cook, and he likes to eat squirrel. So I keep a plastic bag of any sort, put them in, and uh, that way I can just drop them down here in my bag. So, let's slip around here, see if we can find us another one. I wanted to mention something on here. Uh, here in Mississippi, they have moved our season up from like the middle of October to the 1st of October. And it creates a problem. There's what is called a wolf. It's a worm that gets under the skin of the squirrels. So when you shoot one, you have to kind of check that they ain't a lump, usually around the neck area. This is a good squirrel. Both of these that I have shot are good squirrels. Uh, now that that wolf don't really make them inedible, but it does make it where you don't, it's ugly. Uh, I ain't gonna eat one with it in there, I just. But here's the thing, if you're squirrel hunting and you kill three or four and they all bad, quit shooting squirrels. I know a bunch of people around here that went squirrel hunting and started shooting squirrel. Talking about they had like 11 bad ones. Well, why, why did you, y'all have a little respect for wildlife. If you wait a little while, you can go back. I mean, if you're starving to death, have at it, you know, but if you're just doing it for the sport, I mean, don't be out here killing stuff just to see how many you can kill. Don't, don't have respect for this outdoors, y'all. Let's see if we can kill us another one. Y'all see all this open sky behind me? That's supposed to all be canopy of trees. Them storms this spring, y'all decimated this swamp. You shouldn't be able to see blue sky that direction at all. These trees laid down. You look right back through there. It looks like, literally looks like a log and cut over right there. And that's just storm damage. And it's not like just this one spot. It's this whole swamp. I knew there was a lot of trees down when I come down here fishing in the spring, but this is the first time I've really got out in the woods and walked around. It's heartbreaking, y'all. <laughs> Still game here. It'll be good for the deer, actually. It'll give the, it'll help the deer population tremendously. They'll have places to bed down and hide, so the deer population will probably come back. Uh, just makes it tough to get around. Breaks my heart to see. Y'all, there's a 
deer standing right there looking at me. If I wanted deer meat, I could shoot her right now. See her face. There she goes. Y'all, squirrels, for some reason, have kind of hid. They still around. Oh. But now I have hunted my way out here to a good hole. And I brought my fishing pole with me today. I can't hardly hunt or want to fish. This time of year, I like to find out when them crappies biting, and I got word that they might be biting. Now, this hole is filled with gruntle, so there's a good chance there's a gruntle going to steal my bait and break my line off, but I want to see if them crappie will bite. There's a gruntle rolled right there. Don't call it brim. I'm after crackers. Y'all, I know the sun may be in your eyes. I want you to see how them grunts are rolling the water out there. See what we got here. Y'all. Hey, All I got to tell you is this time, it's time to get the fish stringer out. Grab it time.
I done been to the buggy one time and drank some coffee and put my fishing pole stuff back up. I've been picking some of these cardinal flower. There's a good bit of it scattered through this swamp, but now they're very small out in this canopy, but good to have. There's a lot of it, so I don't feel bad about picking. I hate to pick it right around my house when there ain't but a little of it. But we snaking our way around through these blowdowns and mosquitoes is eating me up, y'all. I should have sprayed on some mosquito spray. But uh, we gonna head on out. I hadn't killed no whole bunch of squirrels. Uh, but now, I mean, I you know, it ain't about how many you kill. It's about enjoying being out here to me. So it's a good day. Uh, we caught a few crappie, but I really didn't catch enough to justify taking them home and cleaning them, so I throwed them back in the water, turned them loose, put my stringer back in my pocket, and uh, we'll come back. They'll, they'll turn on here in a little while where you can really wear them out, and that's what I like to do, get in there when they really biting. So we'll, uh, I'll take you and show you how to clean these squirrels right quick. We're gonna drink a little coffee here in the buggy. We may shoot another on the way out here, you never know. But I probably not because I get in a hurry and start walking fast and I'm ready to go. And uh, cause I can't spend all day in the woods. I have to get to work. Us poor folks can't, can't hunt all day. We have to work. So we'll see y'all here directly. Get one that ain't too bad bloodied up. I'm just going to skin one of these on camera uh, just to show you the way I do it. Uh, it's like everything else. I like this way the best. I don't get hair everywhere. It's the easiest. I don't require a bunch of stuff. I can do it about anywhere on the stump or anything. Um, and there'll be somebody, you know, there's always a better way. You do it like you want to if you got a way you think that you've got to do it. But if you're looking for an easy, good way to do this, this is a good way, okay? Now, the first thing I do is cut the hands off. So I got him laid down here, and y'all, I'm going to do this one, and I'm going to try not to make no bloody gore video. So if you don't like blood and guts and stuff, you can turn it off now. Thank you for watching. Um... And that's why I like a good heavy bladed knife, y'all. I love this knife. I love this knife. Okay, I hold him by the tail like this. And right above is... Let me hold it down like it. Right above is vent. And that's what we're going to call this for politeness. That's what it is called in the trapping world, okay? Cut through that tail. Now, be careful doing this. You are cutting towards your knuckles. I stick it between the vertebrae of that tail right there and kind of wiggle it. And I take this knife and I cut down across his hip a little bit so that I make that peel where I want it. Wipe the hair off your knife blade. But you gotta be careful. You don't wanna put a bunch of pressure right here because if you got a good sharp knife like I do, you kind of put it in there and wiggle it. Oh, uh, cause you don't wanna cut your finger. All right, now I am through. Make sure you through these white tendons. That helps you. At that point, y'all, you grab this. I pull him to right there. Okay, I'm holding him. I pull the arms, both of them out. Wipe your hand off good. Catch him by the head. Grab this point right here. I gotta get it started. Some of them do easier than others. All right, now you get a hold to it. Once you good right there, if you get a hold to it right, you see you got the whole squirrel peeled out like this. So at that point, I try to cut my everything off right there at the joint. Roscoe's over here waiting on that. Now, if y'all wondering why he didn't get to go squirrel hunting this morning, he was still in the bed laid up. 
He gets a, I'm going to peel the head completely off because I want this high. Well, I pulled the head off. I was going to keep that. I think we'll give that to Roscoe. I don't know. I wanted this piece of hide right here on this one. And y'all, if you're wondering, that is meat all on that head. A lot of people cook the heads. I, I don't cook them. I'm going to let Roscoe have it, though. He wants him a squirrel tail. Okay. At this point, we'll start cutting all this stuff off. Okay, when I get him to this point, I take the tip of my knife and I, real lightly, I was being gentle with that, that's so why I had to do it several times. And then that's why I like this tip on this knife. Uh, drop point works good. I, don't, I have some drop point knives. I have made drop point knives. I'm just learning that I like this, this sharp, I like this sharp tip better myself. It's personal preference. It ain't that one one's better than the other. All right. I got to get it through my hole. There we go. All right. So at that point, then, you can just grab me in. And, y'all, I usually keep the heart. I don't know. I like the heart out of an animal. I don't eat it raw. I cook it. There you go, Roscoe. I didn't mean to throw it on you. I was trying to throw it to you. It kind of stuck to my fingers. Oh. I need to clean my sink up, y'all. This is my outdoor sink, but I don't do a lot of skinning around here. I usually skin everything over at my other skinning shed, but I just had a handful of squirrels today, so I really wasn't too worried about it, but I need to get a brush to clean all that back up. But this thing's eventually gonna just go in the house, and I'll just run water on the ground. It ain't really serving no purpose to sink ain't. Something that needs cleaning. But anyway, that's how, to, how I clean a squirrel. I got two or three more to clean, but I don't, I don't like that blood on my knife. I like to keep it on my heel. Oh. Thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. We'll see you next time. We'll be going flintlock hunting. We got some bow hunting coming up, so we fix and dive deep off into hunting season. Uh, but thank y'all for coming along. Y'all, this, this outdoor deal to me ain't about let's see how much stuff we can film killing or me proving how good a hunter I am. It's about me taking you along, showing you the wilderness, the outdoors, the swamp, uh, whatever we're doing. So thank y'all for coming along. We'll see you next time.